system. Okay? Yeah, just recording, sorry. 3, 6, 9, 12. Then you mark over here. Okay. Can you see it? Oh, look the same. Okay? For the dark here, the value required negative 12 on the x and positive 12 on the y. Your pattern move x negative 12. I move in the y by 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. When we do it all in pencil, it gets really confusing. Yeah. Because Try to do by the pencil first and then uh, color coding for the next side before, for the side you just did. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. um, go for the the next side. Right? Yeah. Can you see? Mm -hmm. The point increase by 6 under the 6. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, the next one will be negative 12 and 25 in the pos uh, positive in the Y. Your pattern is moving by 12 in the negative 12 in the X and 12.5 in the Y. I move extra 12.5 to make 25. I do calculating. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, right? And just out a little bit to make them 25 mil. And for accuracy, I keep the pattern straight. This is same here, parallel to the center. And mark the corner here. Can you see it? For the hip notch, 0 by 25, your pattern got um, 12 in the X, 25 in the Y, and move back. You know how you showed me when we do those with the ruler? Mm -hmm. For the small values, you said you draw yeah. underneath the line and yeah. then the other yeah. one you put but it this one we don't on top of the line. See? Can you see? Move a so little bit one, out. Yeah. Because 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, I should move out by 1 mil. Okay. So we don't need you to do this. Now, one. the corner over here requires 6 in uh, the x positive value and 25 in the y. So I only have a 25 <coughs> in the y. And move 3, 6, <coughs> and 6 on <coughs> And then bring back here. Alright? Okay? You want me to demonstrate for side 8? Yeah. Okay? That would be interesting. Now side 16 will be triple amount. Same. Yeah. Taking from your base side, time by 3. If you want to do side 16. Now for so side, side, go side, for side 8, so will be the same value but opposite direction. So therefore, side A will be positive 6 in this point, negative 6 in this point. So side A will be negative, positive 6 in this y and 0 in this y. Right? And this one will be neg positive 6 in this point and then negative 12.5. Can you see? All flip the direction. Right? So here will be x will be 0 and negative 12.5. Right? And then 3 will be negative 3 here and 0 here. Will be negative 3 and y will be negative positive 12. Negative 12.5. Right? Okay. Now I'm going to do side 8. What color I'm going to use? Orange. Okay, I put back again, point zero. Point zero starting all the time have to be defined, you see, in the same spot. Now, starting from this point, this point requires positive six, zero in the Y. So, will be this way. Right? And then, the dot. Required to be positive 6 in the x, negative 6 in the y. My pattern only leaves for the x positive 6. So therefore, I move the pattern in the 
negative direction for the y. Can you see it? Right? The corner here. So the value will be positive 6 in the x, negative 12.5 in the y. I only move the pattern by positive 6 in the x and negative 6 in the y. I continue, move another 6.5 negative value in the y and then mark over here. The hip notch, the value will be 0 in the x, negative 12.5 in the y. My pattern lift by 6 positive in the x, negative 12.5 in the y. That value is required only zero and move back zero in the x. Right? Can you say overlap? Overlap over the, the constant line. For the whole point here, require the value could be x could be negative three, y will be positive twelve point five. My pattern sitting is zero x and negative twelve point five in the y. I'm going to leave. This way, 3 mil, negative 3 in the x. And then mark all the point here. So, I said the first couple of sessions, yes, you have to stop a little bit to see where you stop and mark. But um, later on, you will see <coughs> grading look like <coughs> the formula <coughs> turn your into Harvard. Okay, so I suggest just step back a little bit after you got a gray plan, just calculate the x and y coordinate for the whole side, i.e. 10, 12, 14, or 16, then you use the value, just move around uh, your grid.